Hi, my name is Courtney, and I'm going to talk to you today about Blue Ridge, Georgia. Blue Ridge, Georgia, the city with blue trees. You might be wondering what I mean by blue trees, and don't worry, we'll get there. What makes Blue Ridge, Georgia is its history, climate, and geography, and of course, its tourist attractions. You may ask yourself, why did she choose Blue Ridge, Georgia? I chose Blue Ridge as it's been a family destination spot for the past eight years. This has been summer where we have celebrated anniversaries and marriages. I hope you enjoy it. What makes Blue Ridge, Georgia? Historical records show that white settlers arrived in this region of the mountains from the northern United States around 1790. Yet it wasn't until the 1830s tragic treatment of the Cherokee people, known as the Trail of Tears, that larger numbers of white settlers began moving to the area both to farm and to dig for gold. With so many of the natural resources being harvested, families started to cut down trees, and naturally, they started to form lumber yards. Fanning County was created in 1854 from portions of Union County and Gilmer County, with Morganton as the first county seat. Colonial James Fannin, for whom the county is named after, was a hero in the Texas War of Independence. Climate and Geography The Blue Ridge Mountains are noted for having a bluish color from seeing from distance, hence the blue trees. And this is caused by isoprene that's released into the atmosphere, which contributes to the characteristic haze on the mountains and their distinctive color. The Blue Ridge Mountains are formed from the eastern front of the Appalachian Mountains into the southeastern United States. The Blue Ridge Mountains cross across the states of Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. In the mountain valleys, the temperature is average between 6 to 8 degrees cooler than in the summer months of the Piedmont. Near the tops of the mountains, the difference can average between 10 to 12 degrees. Georgia alone doesn't get that much rain. In the Blue Ridge Mountains, they get about 60 inches of rainfall a year. What makes a tourist attraction an attraction? That would be, for Blue Ridge at least, the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway, of course the mountains, and the Toccoa River Swinging Bridge. The Blue Ridge Scenic Railway is 26 miles round trip, which is about four hours, and it winds along the beautiful Toccoa River, arriving in sister towns of McKaysville, Georgia, and Copper Hill, Tennessee. The mountains, when you're there, they're absolutely stunning. But there are three attractions you'll want to see there. And one is Fallbridge Falls, and that's a half mile hike to a natural waterfall, and it is absolutely gorgeous. There's also Long Creek Falls and also the Benton McKay Trail. The Toccoa River Swinging Bridge. This is a 270 foot long bridge and is the longest swinging bridge east of the Mississippi River. The swinging bridge over the Toccoa River is located on the Benton McKay Trail in the Duncan Ridge National Recreational Trail in Fannin County. It was built by the USDA Forest Service in cooperation with Appalachian Club in 1977. In conclusion, Blue Ridge has more to offer than what's meets the eye. With Blue Ridge's history, climate, geography, and tourist attractions, you'll never want to leave. Another great feature for Blue Ridge, Georgia, is its small town feel. The people who still live in Blue Ridge still treat it as if their ancestors did. They still do the lumbering, they still do gold mining, and it's stunning. It's a lot better than I think this modern technology that we see nowadays. If you ever get the chance, go visit Blue Ridge. In my speech, I used aboutnorthgeorgia.com and blueridgemountains.com. Thank you.